530 haven't arrived. I'll call the meeting to order. Just stand and recite the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Nice to see the Boy Scouts here. All right, Mark Young. everybody tonight great good, good. Uh, I'm getting back to you with the estimated cost on cleaning up 244 middle road and um, <coughs> I came up with an estimate of four thousand dollars and we're gonna get in there and get it cleaned up as soon as possible got so. everything wor worked out with dumpsters and such yep everything's all set to go as soon as the co my contract is ready then be ready to go in so and it's, it's not going to our transfer station, nope. it's going okay, good. independent. Yep. So. All right. If you need anything else, let us know. All right. In the meantime, get it when you can. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. All right. We have a non-public session. Mr. Mullen, would you like, you, you're, you would like to have a non-public session for this? Yes, Go ahead, Dick. Mr. Chairman, we'll make a motion. We have a non-public RSA 91A3, Roman rule 2C. Matters which discussed in public would likely affect adversely the reputation of any person. Second. Yes. 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 All right. <clears throat> we have to go into non-public to discuss things that can adversely affect. Adversely affect. Good. The flow of the okay. meeting. This thing good? Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. No, for the record, the no action was taken. Could I get a motion to seal the minutes of the non public session? So moved. Second. Moved and seconded. Yes. 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 All right. Jeannie, you wanted to talk to you for the Mm-hmm. Jeannie, you wanted a couple minutes? Yes, thank you. Please excuse my voice. <clears throat> Understood. Please excuse my sales guy for commenting on your voice today. <laughs> thank you. Is it contagious? No. Okay. Thanks, Chief. Do you want me to give that to Rebecca? Or yes. are you? Okay. Thank you. So, um, just a few dates that I wanted to bring to your attention. Um, there's a, a pretty interesting free seminar that's being offered to municipalities um, by a gentleman who is a utility appraiser. And the, the purpose of the meeting is not a positional meeting on Northern Pass, but it is specific to help um, municipalities determine um, real value with regards to Northern Pass, such as um, uh, anticipated final costs related to Northern Pass in each of the communities, um, actual design life and correct depreciation of the Northern Pass physical uh, property, and um, to allow municipal participation in a valuation group, um, you know, regarding Eversource's tax litigation history. So there are a number of topics that are going to be offered. Um, it's just a two-hour session. Your second page in your packet has the details of that particular event. Unfortunately, we just learned about this last week, and because the deadline for registering is today, they actually, we asked that they extend this to tomorrow. So if you folks wanted to send a representative to this, um, they are open to hear from you. Um, there will be two members from Deerfield attending this, but we thought it would be great if you could think of somebody from uh, either your board or another board that may 
be really able to take advantage and hone in on some of the tax questions that um, we might have regarding the project. Also, um, on December 16th, um, there is a public comment period um, that is being sponsored by the DOE. If you remember, Rockingham County hosted a meeting here, um, but that was an applicant meeting. So this is the first official DOE meeting that the public will be able to comment on the um, draft EIS and also the supplemental draft EIS. Also, um, Deerfield can expect another hosting of a applicant meeting if the um, application for the project is accepted. And that county meeting would happen sometime before January 14th, so just something down the road. Um, I believe that the board has received uh, some communication with regards to um, letters from the Society of the Protection of New Hampshire Forests, and basically um, they are arguing that the application um, that Northern Pass has submitted is incomplete. And there's two submissions to the alteration of terrain permits and shoreland protection permits. Um, similarly, uh, the Deerfield Conservation Commission will be sending you a letter this week. Um, they have taken a very strong position on um, sending a letter to the SEC regarding the process of negotiation uh, notification. <coughs> the extracting information pertinent to Deerfield um, regarding the wetland permit. They were sent, the Deerfield Conservation Commission was sent all this information, and it was near impossible to actually pull details as they relate to Deerfield. This information was not um, presented well in terms of being helpful to individual communities. And also, once again, um, there was a very inadequate timeline for a response. They were given, the commission was given like 14 days to respond to this huge wetland application. And so um, Deerfield, as well as there are several uh, conservation commissions throughout the state have responded to the SEC. You will be receiving a letter, a copy of that letter. So I just wanted to you know, keep an eye open for it. It's very well written, very uh, clear, and um, I think it's a, a good letter. So um, just two more items. Um, <clears throat> there was um, a uh, contact person. The SEC has hired an administrator, Pamela Monroe. And um, she, you, you can pick up the phone and talk with her. And I had a number of questions about um, the intervener process that is upcoming and uh, the filing information should someone want to intervene. And I think that's going to be uh, the next topic that we're going to probably ha want to have a conversation about, you know, should Deerfield intervene in this process or not. And she is going to be sending some information regarding that and we'll have that available to you. And also uh, Jan had, um, was very helpful in terms of where we've heard that several communities have Northern Pass Project Affairs Specialists. And um, so we're trying to determine, does Deerfield have a specific uh, Project Affairs Specialist? So, you know, when Jan, if you do get a response to that question, um, we were just I curious. You know, we're seeing correspondences from other, other communities that reference this person. And we're just trying to get more information about that. So thank you for your time. Thank you. And, Jeannie, if, and once it. again, if there's any other um, topics of concern or you know, points of interest that you want answers to, we're very happy to help bring that information to you if, if um, that's helpful. Thank you, Jeannie. OK. Thank you. Rest up. Anybody interested in going to any of those conferences? Yeah, until next Monday night. If you think of something, let 
Jan, though. Yeah, I think the, the person that would likely gain, I think probably be the most effective for us would be Penny, but I mm -hmm. don't know if that's. We, we did receive this invitation as yes, well. Yes, we did. Okay. I think it's important to note, too, that we have uh, basically severed our ties with Mr. Sansusi mm -hmm. as our utilities um, person and moved that. All right. But, talk about it more. All right, budget review. Uh, the first thing I understand under Warren articles is um, Mark is pulling the command vehicle from the Warren articles. And uh, I had suggested that he look at the um, police size SUV, but he says it wouldn't even hold half of his stuff. So he's going to pull that for now. Okay. And it's the deadline that he could put it back if. We've got a while, but he's decided since it failed last year, he's just going to give it a chance, just pull it for now, and he'll nurse the Tahoe for a as while. As far as he can. Good. Anybody have any other things about Warren articles or the budget itself? Not at this time. Anything you want to pass on? Not until my report. Okay. All right, let's move on to uh, outstanding minutes of the 9th of November. Motion to approve. Second. And second. Any discussion? I got a couple corrections. Go ahead. Uh, page two, the second paragraph. Uh, it's talking about Hartford Brookfield. It's Hartford Brookfield. It's not Brookfield. Thank you. <laughs> And I also on that for that. Uh, page four, uh, three quarters of the way down, we're talking about. Um, it says Vice Chairman Pittman added to place a line on the property. I think that should be lean. That's all. Not bad. Thank you. All right, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? <coughs> I have accounts payable manifest in the amount of $22,101.14. Yeah. Um, yes, sir. I wanted to uh, ask the board maybe to pull something there. We <coughs> have uh, requests from the supervisors of the checklist to attend the Municipal Association Conference um, in there. I think it was $105 a person, and there was a, a notation of what they were <coughs> taking for courses, which <coughs> didn't seem to have any bearing on elections or supervisors of the checklist, and we're not paying for any other staff to attend this. I'm looking at... Uh... I just pulled it. It was one of the things was the, a class on land use law and another one on... Conflicts of interest or something. It, it's about halfway through. How does that work, Jan? Do we deduct that amount from what? Well, I think it was a reimbursement request, wasn't it? One was a reimbursement and one was a direct payment. To the municipal association. Mm -hmm. uh, typically, we we've, we've paid for things like that, but asked for some indication that it was relevant to your public position. Well, <coughs> I'm noticing that there's another one in there. What's the board? What, what does the board want to do about this? I would, I don't think we should reimburse those or pay those. They're not relevant. I'd have to agree. I'm glad that you had time to go through the manifest and pick that out. We pulled the, the first one. It's a two-day conference, uh, and the folks that requested it apparently signed up for three of the classes. One is what's new in land use law, 
Um, one is court updates. Oh, great. And the other is uh, uh, was conflict of interest. Do you have a conflict of interest? And I was just, I, I didn't see any of those as relating to the position. Do you know the dollar amounts, Jan? They're both 105. That's it, there's no travel or anything. Is this, the, is this the same thing? Yes. The same conference, the same yes. classes? Yes. I don't know if it's the same classes. Oh. If if that's not mine, it's on this one. Well, I'm, 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 all, I'm also looking at another supervisor of the checklist, Gloria Real. With the same charge, and I'm yeah, there were two of them, and they were both 105 for a two-day conference uh, that had. I mean, there's there's nothing at the conference that's really. Uh, they have who would. When you read for each course, it says who these are recommended for, and it, mm -hmm. it none of them were recommended for supervisors of the checklist. So it was 22 101. So it's 105 a piece. Two ten. But. The payment for Miss Katie is $135. Those are reimbursements. Those are other reimbursements. Yes, I thought the other reimbursements were fine, but just the $205 no, charge. That's the time that they worked. Okay, let's see, it says Harriet. But it says Tom Dillon. That's what I'm looking at. Okay, they put the wrong, the wrong slip. And then Yeah, I'm not showing anything for um, Mrs. Katie for that conference. It's the NHMA. There was, it was definitely in there. And they were two hundred and five dollar charges. All right, I have. It's under that. Okay. Thank you. So there's two hundred and hundred and five dollar charges that we'd like to remove. Correct. Okay. So it was, what was the total? Twenty two. Twenty two one oh one fourteen. So that's 21,891.14 if we take out 210. 21,891? 21,891.14. So would the maker of the motion agree to the adjusted oh. amount? I will. 21,891. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Notice of computer adjustment. Recommendation to adjust the property tax in the amount of $908 for the property located on Griffin Road, also known as MAP 405, lot 053 3, owned by Alden and Catherine Dill. The reason was the owner placed land in current use prior to April 1, 2015, and adjustments and changes were not carried over during the import of revaluation data. Is that recommended by Avatar? Yes. Motion to approve. Make this. Do I have a second? Second. I'm going to abstain from voting as that's an employee of mine. All right. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? And one abstention. <laughs> one. I'm going to abstain. I'm not going to vote aye. <clears throat> The 
This is a continuing uh, agreement with the attorney, Lisa Rick, who's been handling our prosecution. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is an offer for $15,600 as annual compensation payable and monthly installments of $1,300. And if the board is in agreement to send the letter, I would like to be able to sign <coughs> down Deerfield agreeing to it. Is that recommended by the police chief? It's signed by the police chief. It is an increase of $300. Right. Can I see it for one quick second? Um, because we have been having the police officers go to court for the administrative license suspension hearings where there are attorneys on the other side. Um, and the chief felt that it was necessary. He checked around. Um, we are getting a deal from Ms. Ricks. Need a second or motion? Motion. I would make a motion that would authorize Chairman Barry to sign the agreement for the prosecutor for the police department and note that there is a $300 increase to cover uh, her handling administrative license revocations so that our officers don't have to. Second. Discussion? Good. Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Two weeks of two officers. Yeah. Mm hmm and they aren't on the road. Okay, so last week we discussed the letter to the fire chief. Jan has made some adjustments. Has everybody read the uh, revised one? Yes. Yes. Okay, everybody happy? Could I get a motion to approve it? I make a motion that we approve the correspondence being sent to the fire chief regarding communications administration. Second. Discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? I did it again. Change it. I keep picking the wrong one. All right. I have a letter from the uh, American Legion Auxiliary to the Deerfield Board of Select People. Uh, the American Legion Auxiliary Unit 103 will be holding their annual cookie walk and raffle Saturday, December 12th, 2015 from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. at the historic town hall. At this time, the auxiliary would ask for a waiver of rental and heat fees. Central location of the hall, we believe, has contributed greatly to the success of the walk raffle. And we use these funds to assist servicemen and women and individuals in our community. We have also made donations to the Tilton Home Veterans Hospital and so many more. We also request to access the hall Thursday, December 10th, 2015 for the setup for our special event. And this is from Meredith Briggs, the president. We've waived it every year. Yeah. I would make a motion that we waive it again. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor say aye. 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 All right, I have a notice of intent to cut wood or timber. Map 414, lot 142142-1, 142-2, and 142-3 on off of Mount Delight Road. The Northwood Lake Watershed Association, we put together a warrant article for $6,000 last year, and we continued the $6,000. I have here uh, a letter from Kevin Ash, the president of the association. Uh, as we discussed, here's our budgeting information for 2016. A full herbicide treatment of 51 acres is $18,100. Diver assisted suction harvesting 25 days is 27,500 total of 45,000 
six hundred dollars. Uh, NLWA has operated at a net ten thousand dollar deficit last year and expects the same for 2016. At this rate they will become insoluble within two years. We are requesting increased support from all three municipalities that border the lake in order to stay in business. We respectfully request an increase in Deerfield support from 6,000 to 8,000. This is gonna be a Warren article, correct? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't mind putting it on as a Warren article. Okay. If town wants to do it, they'll do it. <laughs> Great. Okay. letter to us from the transportation planner for the Southern New Hampshire Planning Commission. Basically, uh, it's come to his attention that we no longer want to be part of the Upper Lamprey Scenic Byway. Um, he'd like an opportunity to appear on, a, on the agenda to come tell us, give us a brief overview of the byway's potential benefits. Is anybody interested in hearing that? I've, I've heard it at least once. Me too. Well said. Yeah. yeah. All right, as Jeannie mentioned before, the Society for the Protection of New Hampshire, New Hampshire Forests has uh, written a letter to us. Um, earlier today, the enclosed letters were hand delivered to the New Hampshire Department of Environmental Services and the New Hampshire Department of Transportation by our attorneys. These letters alert the agencies to our concerns about property rights that we hold along the route within which Northern Pass proposes to build its power line. <laughs> And to the fact that these rights preclude the respective agencies from concluding that the NP application for a certificate of site and facility submitted October 19, 2015 to the New Hampshire Site Evaluation Committee is complete, as, as Jeannie explained. We were notified by Mr. Sansuzzi about the... Uh, yeah. And the Department of Energy has weighed in on Northern Pass in the process also. Well, Town Administrator's report. Okay. Um, I have hired Peter LeMay for the bookkeeper's position. Um, I have given you the personnel action form for signature for approval. $20 per hour, 40 hours a week, full-time as the bookkeeper with a six-month probationary position. Okay. Can we get a motion to approve me signing that? Is that just you? Yeah. Make a motion that the chairman sign the... What's personal it action request. Personal action request for our new bookkeeper, Peter LeMay. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Excellent. Thank you. Um, since we last spoke with Steve Jamelli, um, he has asked if we may replace the server now instead of waiting until next year. Because after he was here, um, we've had several disruptions from the server and we were down. So he's afraid that this is going to continue and if it does go, we have no backup. So he has gone out, gotten several prices um, for everything that he needs and we're looking at roughly $4,000 to replace it. Where's the money coming from? It will probably come from the TA budget. <laughs> Got to do good. We need it. Yeah. Go ahead. Okay. I'm going to go away. Um, in your packets, I have prepared the 2016 budget schedule. I mean, the select schedule, schedule, meeting, yeah. meeting budget schedule. Budget schedule. Please. I don't want to talk about 2016. <laughs> um, sorry. If you can take a look at it, and if everything looks good, we can go f forward um, next week. Mm -hmm. And. I will be changing the town administrator's budget for the uh, full-time line 
to include uh, Peter's wages. Anything for the town administrator? Not right now. All right, unfinished other or new business? I think we're good. Do we need a non-public? Nope. We're done. All right. Citizens' comments. What do you think, boys? Oh, yeah, it's real interesting. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No citizens' comments. Motion to adjourn. Yo, oh. wait, go ahead. Um, Take it back. With regard to your server, uh, your administrator's comment that you don't have a backup available, what is the reason that you wouldn't have your data backed up? We have our data backed up, but if the server crashes, we do not have another computer to take over. To take over. Gotcha. Good question. All right. Motion to adjourn. Second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you all for coming. Thank you, Boy Scouts. <laughs>